Hello my friends, this is Amner Hunter from AmnerHunter.com. Happy and honored to spend some time with you on this video. Welcome to part 7 of this series where I am using a completely different DAW than the one that I am used to. In this case Reaper, I am using the 60 day free trial to produce a song from beginning to end. I am a beginner in Reaper. I have never used Reaper before and I have been using Cubase for 10 years and I wanted to uh, have this challenge for myself to make more music this year applying the creativity switch which I talked about in a video. I'm gonna leave the link around here in case that you wanna check out more in depth about that. I hope that for this challenge you come along also to make more music this year, in the previous video, I uh, prepared all of the files that I recorded for mixing. And in this video, I am going to be organizing the session to get the workflow that I am used to and to navigate quickly, mix faster, mix better. Also, at the end of this video series, you're going to be able to download my template of Reaper alongside with the multi-track files that I recorded. All right, so stay tuned for that. Also for this challenge of recording and mixing, I am using only free plugins. Everything will be listed down below in the description and first comment. And don't forget also that I put timestamps on all of my videos in case that you wanna move around between the mini segments of this video and all of the other videos. Before we dive deep into the content, my friends, I would like to invite you to my website, amnerhunter.com, where I have some freebies for you. I have some free PDF guides and eBooks for music producers and guitar players. I just released a new PDF guide, how to make more music in 30 to 60 minutes a day, where I show you some mindsets, some principles, and also some action steps that you can follow to make more music this year. It's a really cool guide that I put together. Also, I have some others here on my website, mixing with free plugins and also about productivity hacks. Additionally, I have some free tools such as a huge collection of guitar impulses, among other utilities. And finally, don't forget to check out my blog, and this channel, which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. So now let's get straight into the video. I want to create a new project. Let's click here, file and open a new project. But before that, my friends, I uh, recommend you to have a better organization of your folders, of your, all of the media files that you need for a project. Go here to options or click control P and preferences here under media this one is deselected by default put new peak files in peaks so folder relative to media normally it's like this selected it will create a separate folder for the peak media files that reaper needs for all of the projects instead of being in the same folder with your wave files the peak files will be in a separate folder so select this and also hit apply and OK. Also, when you select a new project here, make sure to select this couple of boxes because they are deselected by default. This will create a subdirectory for the project and it will copy all of the media into project directory and it will be separating the audio files, wave files, and also the subdirectory of big files, right? So make sure to select this. I have this Reaper song folder and let's name it Reaper song, save it. And it will open this window where all of the audio files are going to be. So I recommend you to type audio in that way. All of your files are going to be organized. You can save as default project settings or hit OK. The project is saved as Reaper song. When we import all of the tracks, just go to insert media file here on the Reaper song. I have the files that I'm going to import. I want to import these files in different sections. First, the drums, because I want to let you know about a couple of ways where you can group this tracks into reaper so i'm gonna first select all of the drum files then rooms and overheads so open separate tracks or single tracks so separate tracks they are ready maybe i should have left this without the first demo or something <laughs> all of these files that you imported created peak files the ones that i was talking about before so one thing that i found very cool in reaper to create groups for this individual tracks, for instance, I'm going to put this in order, the kick drum at the beginning, then the snare, 
let's uh, put here the hi-hats so where are the hi-hats maybe i named the hi-hats wrong here the tom 5 i think it's the hi-hat there are no five toms so this is the hi-hat right i'm gonna put this after here then tom 1 where are you here tom 2 tom 3 tom 4 overheads and room right this is the order that i like to have the drums you can choose whatever order work best for you there are two ways we can group these files we can create a new track and we can call it drum boss or drum groove for instance if you like to work in groups or bosses which i totally recommend you it will save you a ton of time and processing power on your computer if you work in groups not only in individual tracks so there are two ways all right so you go here to where it says route and you put here a new send and you can send it to your drum bus right or drum group you deselect master track because you don't want the sound of this uh, kick drum to be on the drum bus and also on the master bus and you can go ahead and select this and also send it to drum bus master send also one thing that i learned from reaper is very useful you can just drag and drop this option route just click and drag it and there you have it pretty pretty cool now you have here sent this track to the drum bus deselect master send and you're good to go in cubase we didn't have that option so it's very time saving here and you can see the color labeled here you are gonna see here in this drum bus routing option all of the tracks that are being sent and you have the volume for each track pretty useful this is one way you can group different instruments into one single bus or the other way that i um, liked the most let's just undo all of this because everything is undoable pretty much here something that i enjoyed a ton because in cubase not a lot of things were undoable or redoable it seems that everything is back to normal let's say that i want to send all of these tracks to this drum bus i created a new track in this case this one and i put this at the top and you have here this plus option this folder option and it creates a folder that's another way to group different tracks into one single group or bus so we click here and now all of these tracks are being routed to this drum bus we don't need to change things here because all of these child tracks as they are named here are being sent to this parent track it's one of the things that i enjoyed the most about reaper is the way to organize things like this since i like to use groups all right now i can go ahead and import the other files insert media files let's put here the bass guitar let's drag it here like i mentioned i can add a new track and i can group the bass into this bass be careful because you have this uh, blue thing it becomes longer or shorter right if it's like this shorter it will be part of this drum bus track i am gonna just drag it like this now you have a single group for the bass all of this can be uh, optimized in reaper of course but since i am a beginner and then i'm gonna add the guitars let's add media like this separate tracks i can create a guitar bus right just click this plus also with this option that you have here this arrow pointing down you can make these tracks smaller like that i'm gonna put them like that so that you can identify the main groups let's add the lead guitar i am gonna create a track for the lead bus because i like to process things in groups before going to the individual tracks then let's add the vocals right this is the screen vocal lead this is the main one and then i have this couple of support and then clean vocals in the chorus and the support vocals like that so what i can do here is i can group all of the vocals into one group or something that i like to do is group the screaming vocals in one track clean vocals in another track and also the background vocals 
and different tracks as well only specified for the background vocals because i like to process them a little bit differently than the lead ones also one main group for all of the vocals general group that way i can solo only that group of instrument also one more thing that i like to do is i like to group all of the instruments without the vocals in one group and also one folder or group for all of the band apart from the master bus because sometimes i bring some reference tracks that i don't want them to be processed or affected by the plugins that i have on the mix that reference track will be going out to the master and it's not going to be affected by the all band i am going to create a track and i'm going to call it instruments only the instruments without the vocals i'm gonna go up here and and that way i can put the vocals outside then i am gonna create another one call it all band in this way i am gonna have all of the band to this folder and i am gonna have a separate fader and group separate than the master fader right now i am gonna color code all of these tracks all of the individual tracks for the drums are gonna be in yellow so just select all of them right click track color set tracks to custom color i'm gonna put this in blue for instance the bass guitar will be in uh, gray rhythm guitars i like to put them in green the solo or lead guitar i like to have them in another type of green could be lighter green then the screaming vocals and the main clean vocals i'm gonna put them in purple and background vocals in another type of purple like that in that way i can identify quickly also here in the mixer what kind of track i am looking for and the buses or groups or folders i like to put them in yellow all right so i'm gonna select this this that's how i have been working for years it's very simple for me to use this type of uh, workflow you can make these groups smaller these folders for instance make this track smaller i like to mix first the groups instead of the individual tracks also uh, very important the tempo of the song is in 120 so that's why i didn't change the tempo before importing the files there you go my friends see you on the next video where we're gonna start mixing this song please let me know down below in the comments my friends what are your thoughts on my uh, approach to organize the session to organize the files what's the path or the steps that you follow to organize your files or if you are not organizing your files if you are not creating a system to mix a song, let me know what are you doing to improve your workflow when you are going to mix a song. I'll be more than glad to read your opinions about this topic. Before we go, my friends, I would like to invite you to my website, amnorhunter.com, where I have some freebies for you. I have some free PDF guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players. Also, I have some free tools available, a huge collection of guitar impulses, a brand new drum sample pack for rock and metal, among other utilities. And finally, don't forget to check out my vlog and this channel, which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it very much. I will see you very soon on the next part of this video series. All right, take care.